Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore. It's the 24940SK, the rubber clad. You can see and you can own this early 2000s Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore with rubber clad bezel and steel case on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this reference 25940SK. Now the rubber clad debuted in the early 2000s and this one with a serial number in the high E's, about 99,000 E series, so E and the 99,000 and change, would have been created around 2001. The watch is reasonably slim by the standards of an offshore as these earlier Shagera LeCoultre powered models were often under 15 millimeters thick and that, that's borne out here as the watch is a compact 14.6 millimeters thick comfortably under 15, 42 across the round of the case, not including crown guards and chronograph pushers, but the same imposing 54 millimeter lug to lug that we associate with the 42 millimeter offshore. And if you were to measure the, the plots that actually are the intermediate links that join the strap to the case, you can see how they do rigidly flare and force the watch out to the point that across the wrist, it spans a meaty 58 millimeters. But you can also see that if you want to wear this watch on a smaller wrist like mine, you want the diver style strap which was a subsequent innovation that this watch has. So happily, it's been fitted to this example, and you can see the supple, natural vulcanized rubber easily traces the arc of my smaller wrist. You could wear this watch on a smaller wrist than mine. You could wear this on a 15 centimeter circumference wrist thanks to the flexibility of that strap. It is a very comfortable strap. Not only do the cut lines visually extend the plots to create a continuous character that runs from the lugs to the buckle, but they also evacuate enough material that the strap winds up being very flexible and very comfortable. Attention to detail is incredible. As you'll note, the hairline bevel of the case actually continues into the arc of the strap. The buckle is simple, Audemars Piguet, pin buckle, satin finish, low in profile, quick adjustment, a friendly piece for your adventures in hot or cold weather, allowing you to rapidly size as your wrist expands or contracts. The work that's done on the metal is as good as anything you'll find on a standard Royal Oak. Beautiful satin finish. You can see the character lines of the case perfectly melding with those of the bezel. The alignment is exquisite. The definition is superb. The watch doesn't look a day older than the day it left Le Brasseau in the early 2000s. You also note that one of the happy consequences of the rubber clad bezel is exceptional contrast with the polished hexagonal bezel bolts. You also note that the bezel is in outstanding condition. The rubber clads periodically do see wear to the vulcanized sheath, and this one has probably at some point received a new Audemars Piguet bezel because this vulcanized rubber does not look the better part of 18, 17 years old. So the watch is in outstanding condition bezel-wise with a later production and perfectly matched diver strap. Lucky you, you got all the toys. You'll also note the use of screws to fix the strap to the case. This is the way it should be with all expensive, oversized, and massive sports watches. Screws offering far more security than spring bars as well as more peace of mind. Yes, it may take an extra moment to swap straps, but well worth the trouble given the security that's provided by the system. The dial is handsome, mega tapisserie hobnail. You can see the Luminova has a deliberately light lime color. Think, think key lime pie and you get the general idea. It's a welcome splash of color on a watch that would otherwise be rather bichromatic, a combination of silver and black. Although you'll note the silver sub-registers easily Red at a glance, Lancet style white seconds hand for high contrast, and there is a Rayhot style tachymeter scale outboard that allows you to gauge the speed of an object over a fixed distance such as a standing mile or a standing kilometer. So you have that functionality, but also the visual unification via the Rayhot of the bezel with the dial base. Of course, you have the sunken date as ever on the offshores. It is a modular chronograph and you can see that the pushers are slightly out of alignment with the crown. It's a quirk that's been part of the line since 1993 in the very first models. You also note that the nitrile covers for the pushers as well as the shoulder to the crown in excellent condition. Inside the watch, and there you can actually see the serial number right there. My mistake, it wasn't 99,000, it was 96,000. Still, 
figure about 2001 for this guy. You'll note that the watch echoes the style of the bezel on the case back, and if you actually want to know how it's assembled, these bolts are attached to counter bolts that are inside the case. This arrangement merely secures the case back to the case. The two do not interact. But Sandwiched between those two components is a Audemars Piguet caliber 2226 with a 2840 Dubois de Praz vertical clutch chronograph module. The 2226 is based on the Chagere Lecoultre 889, so it is a thin and fine high horology movement that's actually only made a few miles away in the Valley de Jeu at Chagere Lecoultre. It features a 4 hertz beat rate or 28,800 vibration per hour, hacking seconds so you can stop the seconds, including constant seconds, to synchronize to a reference time. There is a quick set for the date so you can rapidly set it and the watch has a 38 hour power reserve when fully energized plus thanks to the screw down crown and the burly architecture of the watch 100 meters water resistant and because it is on a diver style strap rather than the more common hornback alligator you'll be able to jump into the water with this one without first swapping straps so this watch is ready to travel with you to far flung locales for your tropical vacation this winter or sunny climbs this summer. You can see and you can purchase this handsome reference 25940SK on our website.